Welcome to Principles of Transfusion. This video will review platelet transfusion. We have the following take-home points. Transfuse platelets when they are still on the cytopenia with bleeding, need for surgery, or for prophylaxis when platelet counts are less than 10,000. A single dose of pooled or apheresis donor platelets should increase platelet counts by 20 to 50,000. Platelet transfusion refractoriness is usually due to non-alanine causes. Platelet donors can donate whole blood, which is separated into its component parts. Platelet concentrates from the whole blood unit can be combined with other donor platelets, in which case they are pooled platelets, derived from four to six donors. Platelet products also include single donor platelets, which are, collect which are collected by platelet phoresis. Both pooled and single donor platelets typically have a minimum of 3 times 10 to the 11 platelets. When pooled or single donor platelets are transfused to an individual, platelet counts are expected to increase by 20 to 50,000. Special post-collection modifications of platelets include leukoreduction, reduction, irradiation, and pathogen reduction. For optimal viability and function, platelets are typically stored at room temperature which limits the product life to no more than five days. Indications for platelet transfusion include thrombocytopenia with active bleeding, in which case we target a platelet count of 50,000. Thrombocytopenia in platelets undergoing surgery, in which case we target a platelet count of 50,000 unless it's neurosurgery or the target is greater than 100,000. And thrombocytopenia in platelets with hematologic malignancies undergoing chemotherapy or stem cell transplantation. In these patients, prophylactic transfusion to greater than 10,000 prevents spontaneous bleeding. A higher threshold of 30 to 50,000 is used in patients with acute promyelocytic leukemia or in blast crisis. We typically avoid platelet transfusion in patients with thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura and immune thrombocytopenia unless there is life-threatening bleeding or other clinical indications. Platelet transfusion refractoriness occurs when there is no response to transfusion. It is commonly defined as two consecutive post-transfusion platelet count increments of less than 10,000 when checked within one hour of transfusion. Platelet transfusion refractoriness most commonly occurs due to non-alanine causes, including immune thrombocytopenia, splenic sequestration, and consumptive thrombophagalopathy. Immune causes are less common and are usually from alanization due to antibodies to HLA class 1 antigens. Alanization can also occur from antibodies to human platelet antigens, the cause of both neonatal alanine thrombocytopenia and post-transfusion purpura. It is important to note that platelets are not cross-matched prior to transfusion. Platelets express ABO to varying degrees, and although ABO compatibility is preferred, it is not necessary for platelet transfusion. The HLA system is more relevant. For this reason, HLA alanization is a major cause of immune-mediated platelet transfusion refractoriness. Also important is the human platelet antigen system. Therefore, after non-alanine causes have been excluded, platelet transfusion refractoriness can be addressed with a trial of ABO matched platelets which may increase the platelet count in about 10% of group A and B individuals with high antigen expression. HLA matched platelets should be used where there are documented anti-HLA antibodies. In summary, transfuse platelets when there is thrombocytopenia with bleeding, need for surgery, or for prophylaxis when platelet counts are less than 10,000. One dose of pooled or single donor platelets is expected to increase platelet counts by up to 50,000. Transfusion refractoriness is usually due to non alanine causes. This ends our video on principles of transfusion, platelet transfusion.